Hey, Nutty Buddies. Welcome or welcome back. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I'm just going to get right into it. It's the first time uh, I've been out shopping since I had my surgery. I'm feeling good. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So I got this... Um, apple and banana fruit puree. And then I watched my own um, shop with me and saw something about it being discontinued. And I was like, but it was the apple and cinnamon, not discontinued, recalled. Um, but I'm gonna try this out and see, it says uh, one pouch is 70 calories zero everything else, total carbohydrates, 16 grams, fiber, two grams, sugar, 12 grams. Okay, so there you go on the sugar. I was pre-diabetic and I was able to get out of being pre-diabetic before I went into full-blown diabetes. I think my A1C was like a nine or something like that. Now it's under a seven, um, and I've maintained that for a couple of years now. So I can have this, but I do try to avoid the sugars, but say, hey, I mean, what can you do? So that, and I, I think if you guys have, have watched me before, you know that um, now I allow myself one, one treat when I go to the Dollar Tree and this is the treat that I got and there's there's three wait one two there's four in here and what I'll do is I'll have one put it away and then when I feel like having when I get a craving again I, I'll have one I, I'll try to have one I was successful last time and I did get some um there's some Russell Stouffer's uh, Stevia. I think it's Russell Stouffer's that you can get at Walmart. And so if you are diabetic, that's that's a good, um, but they're pretty expensive. So, okay, ha, <laughs> yay. Okay, so I showed these socks my last, in my last shop with me, not my, my most recent one, but the one before that. And I didn't get them and then I was kind of kicking myself. Um, the reason I don't often get socks is because I, I love socks. I'm a socks person. I have a whole video from forever ago where I just, I'm talking about socks for like 30 minutes and how I think that, um, like I was the first person ever to care about cool, weird, weirdo socks. It's not the case. <laughs> not. <laughs> but anyway, I, I felt like. I was some kind of trendsetter, like, hey, used to be I was wearing goofy weirdo socks and getting made fun of for it, but nowadays everybody's doing it. Um, but it wasn't just me. I'm, but anyway, the reason I don't haul a lot of socks is because my mom makes socks, but they're, she makes, she knits them. She knits, knits them for me. And so I, I like to wear my mom's socks, um, but for like in the, when it starts getting warmer weather and stuff like that, um, this is, I, I need summer, I need summer socks. So, um, I saw, I, these were still there and so I got them this time. <laughs> Little squirrel riding a bike. And we think we saw Buddy the Squirrel. Um, I don't know if you're keeping up with it, but we have a squirrel that's our friend that lets us get near him and everything. For, for like the last two two years and he, he I, ha I have a couple of videos on buddy the squirrel and he does this he he sits on the tree limb and gets the bird food and all this stuff and he's basically tame um to us but i guess he's scared of strangers um but we think we 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 saw buddy we saw squirrel prints in the snow and um, my husband thinks that he saw him over here on the other side of the house, not where the bird food is, but it's also where there's not um, construction workers. I say construction workers. 
it's not construction workers. They're working on the roads. They're working on the roads here. They're working on the roads all over. They're, they're even doing it at my, where my mom lives. Like, anyway, um, so it's juncture and it's two pairs. So you get these cute little, um, buddy, the squirrel on a, on a, mo on a tricycle and, and then this stri striped ones. So, <laughs> yay. Um, there were some unicorn ones and um, the last, the, the time before, and I wish I'd picked those up too, but uh, oh well. Uh, I'm so sorry because I, I got this as best as I could. Okay, now I've been seeing this and hearing about this from Kitty Street and um, my little nephews love bubble bath and I had never seen it before. I never, I was like, dang it, I want some, I want to get some of that for my nephews. But I never seen it, and but I did see it this time. I don't think I got it in the shop with me, but they had like, and this, it, oh, if it's, if it's, if I paid, if I was in the plus section, which I don't think I got anything in the plus section this time, but if I do, I'll let you know. Otherwise, it's $1.25. Look at this big old thing, $1.25, and it, and it, um, sour apple scented, and I think, I think the other kind they had was like a grape or something like that, and, um, when my nephews stay over at my mom's, which they do a lot, and she loves having them, she, um, and, and if I'm over there, you know, I'll help, um, but they love to take, they love to have those little fizzies or bubble bath in her jacuzzi tub that she's got. It, it, jacuzzi tub, that sounds weird. She doesn't have a jacuzzi. She's got a tub that has the little jets come out, so it makes a lot of bubbles. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, so um, I'm planning, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to be chatty as usual, I guess. Um, I'm planning, uh, I, it's still a little bit uncomfortable for me to ride in the car, but, um, but I found that out when I went and got this, but it was tolerable. So I figured by next week, I'll be fine and I'm going to go see her and um I don't know, we did. We don't plan exactly, we don't really plan, it's just kind of like, whatever happens, happens, but other than, hey, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come over, you know, I'm coming to see you. But um, if the kids come by or whatever, I'll have little Valentine's Day stuff for them. I'll have, you know, I'll give them, I'll give them this, for example, okay. Um, this is this, another thing um, that I saw that I want to give to the boys, my my great nephews. Whack a pack balloons, and they'll enjoy this. You know, uh, they're six and seven, or seven and eight, something like that. Um, <laughs> um, but they love they love stuff like this. So apparently you just, well, it says right here. And they love dinosaurs. There's a dinosaur one on here. Anyway, I won't give them that for, they'll each get two. I hope everything's okay. Woo, ambulance. Uh, my sister-in-law lives next door and my mother-in-law used to live next door. She lives in a nursing home now, but I was just kind of, I mean, that sounds really terrible, doesn't it? I'm just trying to make sure that it didn't stop at my sister-in-law's because if it did, I need to stop this and go and see and check. It didn't. Um, I mean, I hope whoever else, whoever it is is okay though. All right. So this is another thing for the boys. I mean, this is, okay, so this is one we'll, where, oops, sorry, um, where they'll each get, they'll each get two, 
they'll get two a piece. And then this is the, a share. And then this next thing is a share. Um, one, um, the one that you guys haven't seen that I've never uh, put on film yet, he is hyper. He, he probably has ADHD and, and maybe, anyway, he, it, I don't know. I'm sorry. I hope that didn't go up my nose. I was just itching. Um, I don't know that I'll ever be able to videotape him or not. I, it, it's going to be up to him if he wants to let me do that. But, um, he, he, uh, he loves, uh, Legos and building stuff. I mean, they both do, but the, the, the younger one, um, that you haven't seen, the older one you saw with my mom decorating the tree, um, he, he especially loves, hold on a minute. I'm so sorry about that. Um, we're in a really rur rural area, small, very small town. Um, there's several neighbors that we know and like we both, um, my, my cats, Monster and Sawyer, Monster Spock. His name is Spock. My nickname for him is Monster. He's got like 50 nicknames, but my nickname for him is Monster. My husband calls him Monkey because he crawls up, up the walls and all this stuff. Um, but anyway, Spock, Monster Spock and Sawyer, they came from different litters, like within a week of each other, but with both neighbors. Like, so they're like brothers because they've been brought up together pretty much. And, um, but they're from completely different litters. Com and, and that's why they're so different in body type. But anyway, um, I went outside and checked because it kind of looked like it might be there's an older neighbor that we have that um, has helped out my mother-in-law in the past a lot and, and their friends. And um, he's, he's backhoed for us in the back here. Um, anyway, I just wanted to, it kind of, it was kind of close to my sister-in-law here. So I just kind of wanted to check and make sure I mean, not that there's necessarily anything I could do. Anyway, I'm sorry, okay. So where was I? This is two of them. The, one of them's favorite colors in here. So the older one, I'll just say older and younger because I'm, it's not, no, uh, nobody feels comfortable with me saying their names. So just to, pre I don't know, just to be on the safe side. Uh, so this will go to the, these two will go to the older one and these two will go to the younger one. And then they'll share this at Meemaw's. That's what they call my mom, Meemaw. And the, they'll both, they'll, they'll share this as well. Um, but the younger one really, really loves building stuff. I think he, he might have some OCD too. He might, he might have OCD because he likes to, group things together and put them together and when he's building his little block he like when he's making something he wants it to stay that way he doesn't want it touched or moved or changed in any way but anyway this is a a really neat thing for him to put his little blocks in them both to put their little blocks in over at Meemaw's okay um okay now the older one likes Spider-Man a lot. They both like Spider-Man, but the older one likes Spider-Man a little bit more. So got this, look at, I mean, can't, first of all, look at all this great stuff for $1.25. I mean, I just, so you get stickers and little markers. Let's see, activity art set contains contents. Oh, I thought it was gonna tell me contents. Well, you get stickers, color and sticker. And then you get this little packet. Okay, here it says here on the back. 
contents, 15 sheet activity pad, two sticker rolls, four markers. So that's pretty good. And they'll have fun with that. And um, I got the other one, one too. And I kind of looked, um, they had a bunch of different kinds. And I thought about getting a dinosaur one that was in the tin. Um, I did show that in the shop with me. Um, but I just decided it was probably better on this to get them both the same. So there wouldn't be any kind of uh, arguments. I needed some more hand soap for the kitchen. So I picked this up. And what I do is I keep my, I keep my little, uh, ladybug. I love, I, there's a lot of things I like. I look unicorns, uh, moons and stars, cats, um, ladybugs, uh, uh, animals. I just love animals. Uh, ladybugs are lucky. And, um, it, there's a kind of a thing with me and my husband about ladybugs. You know, it's, I'm a ladybug, it, and it's like a thing between us. So it, um, I like to keep that soap dispenser that I've decorated. It's just a plain, from the Dollar Tree, normal sized soap dispenser that I put stickers on, but that's all it is. But I use stuff like this to refill it, so. And I, got this the last time I had a Dollar Tree haul and I was like, oops, I didn't mean to get this, but then I used it. I used the purple and the, I'm just gonna say red, even though it's not quite red. And I really liked it, so I just picked up another one. Cause I really, um, and, and I got a lot of compliments on my makeup when I did for the Lunar New Year. So I, I just picked up another one so I'll have a backup. I got some, even though I have a different kind from, from Timu that I like a lot, um, I picked up this cuticle oil balm because I'm, I'm you know, taking care of my fingernails and, and more and more and doing different things. So I thought this was an, a, a good, uh, that would be a fun thing. And when I go see my mom, I'm gonna do her nails. And maybe she'll do my nails. Well, no, she probably won't do them. I'm gonna do her nails. She's wanting me to do her nails, so I'm wanna and I want to do her nails, and I've got some different gadgets and stuff that I can do it with. Okay, now it shows you see this, you saw this. If you watched this shop with me or noticed the shop with me, you would have seen all kinds of these. And I love cotton candy, so even though I have plenty of lip stuff, um, I I couldn't help it. I I picked up the cotton candy. So, so when I go see my mom, um, use most nine times out of ten, um, uh, even if it's not planned, it can be arranged that the kids come over and I can, I can, uh, and she she has them a lot. She has them over a lot. She loves having them. So I can probably get that get that to him when I go and see her. Um, this I picked up for my crafts, and I've said it a bazillion times now, probably. But I've got to get these. I I, I now I'm feeling better. I feel good. Um, you know, I just need to get these hauls out of my way so that I can finish fixing the chaos because, well, on my, Adrian Miller said something about this today. I was watching her video. She's talking about like, usually I have all this stuff on my table. Well, I have this craft, what I call my craft table out here in the living room now. And on top of it, it's like a bunch of craft stuff, some Timu stuff that I need to try out, a basket full of 
exercise stuff that I want to demonstrate and to just have out ready for me to use in an easy way. Underneath is a bunch of Timu stuff and craft stuff and I, I, I need to get through some of this stuff. After this Dollar Tree video, I'm going to do a Timu one. I have three bags sitting here and then I had another one come in. Anyway, I'm ranting and raving. I, this I, I thought would it is great um, to use for crafts. So let's see, 10 pieces. You get 10, 10 different stamps. And just to give you a little Uh, and then it's, I think it's hard to see. It's hard for you guys to see. There you go. You can kind of see a little bit. So that'll be fun. And maybe, maybe I will be able, you know, um, maybe I will be able to make or add on to my husband's Valentine's Day card. Maybe I will have time to do that. Um, this is for the kids, but I had, uh, somebody, I think it's Twisted Gypsy, likes to haul these double bubbles all the time, and I had never seen cotton candy before. I might chew on one of these. There's very strict rules that, um, my sister and, and my mom have for them chewing gum, though. They, uh... They're still not quite old enough to where they can do it without being monitored, but th that'll be, it'll be okay. Now, this one I got for me, and I couldn't help it, but think about Wendy, AKA Kitty Street, several times while I was in the Dollar Tree. I'm like, oh my gosh, Wendy would like that. Wendy would want that. I'm, I, I can't help it. I, And this is one of those things that I thought, well, Wendy would like that, and I could use this for my crafts. So it's one of those activity sets, but it's it's Minnie Mouse. So so Kitty, Wendy, Kitty Street, Wendy, if you're watching this, and they had t-shirts, they had Mickey Mouse t-shirts. I accidentally filmed it upside down and Betty Boop, of course, the t-shirts were in the plus section. So it's the same thing, you get um, activity pages here. Does it tell you? This one doesn't tell you. You can kind of see there on the back. It's coloring pages, stickers. Oh wait, yeah it does, it's just so small, I can't hardly read it. It's the same thing, it's the same thing as the other. 15 sheet activities had two sticker rolls, four markers. Cool. So this is for me to use with crafts. And maybe, and I hate to spoil it, but oh well. Maybe I can figure out a way, like, and, and maybe I just haven't looked well enough or whatever, or I can email her. Um, there's certain people uh, other content creators that I've become, that I feel like I've become really good friends with, and I want to send them something for the holiday or for their birthday or whatever, and I can make, maybe I can make her a little card or something and send it to her for something. Uh, anyway, um, this is, these are my husband's twin snakes. I feel like I talked about these the last haul, my mother-in-law. Well, my what happened is we we got these. My husband ate them all. He forgot to bring them to his mother-in-law, to his mother, my mother-in-law. And so we got some more. These are, these are supposed to be for her. He just kind of forgot. He, there was a lot going on. And bless her heart, she's, she's not doing so hot. It's hard. It's really hard when when it's really hard on him, and uh, you know it's really hard when somebody has Alzheimer's or dementia. And I I think I've said before, 
it's hard to know the difference it, which one it is but she's got one of them and she's declined she still knows who he is but she gets confused just for an example he she asked about our kids which we don't have kids we, we never had kids so he she just gets confused in that way and it's it's hard it's hard um then she's basically mentally halfway in another world and he's having to see her kind of waste away um it's really really hard so please send out um thoughts thoughts for for him and to help him I, I she's she's fine she's well taken care of it's just a sad hard thing to anyway I didn't mean to didn't mean to go down that road but uh, uh okay Everything is dollar twenty-five. Now I'm gonna use this for crafts. I'm gonna put. I was watching. G, I watched Gigi's craft attic. And halls. <laughs> I need to start writing this down. I'm sorry, Gigi. Craft, it's craft attic, Gigi's, Gigi's craft attic and something. <laughs> but, um, I didn't know. I, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm probably, I've said it before too, but I'm, pro I'm going to say, I'm going to do some junk crafting. That's how I'm going to say it. I'm not ne necessarily going to do a junk journal or at least not completely, maybe partially. But, um, she was talking about, and I can't remember the name that she used. I can't remember the name, the term, um, but like something that she says, for example, like stamps, something that you're meant to throw away. Well, I'm going to keep those whatever, and I'm going to keep that in, in this. Okay. And right in the beginning, the beginning of the video, I showed the, these little things um in the beginning of the shop with me and i purposely tried to avoid showing this one because th i knew that this was the one for me look at this happy little tree isn't wouldn't you love to live there well i'll say i would but i don't think i could like if there was some kind of rope that could pull me up like an elevator that would be <laughs> that would be fine i wouldn't want to climb the tree or try to go upstairs i wouldn't do I don't stairs and me don't get along um but I, if there was some kind of rope elevator or something I would love to live in here I would love to live there and I'm scared of heights I'm not scared of heights I'm scared of falling from heights and not even major heights like it's ridiculous um I I've been on top of mountains, I've been top of ski lifts, on all of that stuff, and the ski lift made me nervous because I didn't trust the, and the monorails, all that stuff, it, it, it makes me nervous because, not because of the height, but because of the idea of falling from the height, and I don't know if there's a difference really, but there is to me, because I can go and I can look at a height and be fine, as long as I'm secure, as long as I feel secure. But even on the, those monorails and um, ski lifts and stuff like that, because I did, I did get to go skiing um, when I was in high school. I was going to, uh, it was a mission trip or something uh, with the church. I was in the youth group. It was a, Got the name after Methodist 
So, um, yeah. I was brought up Catholic, and then when it was just me and my mom, I, we went to being Methodist, and I am currently... I'm, I, I don't know if I want to say agnostic anymore because I don't know that that's accurate, but like I'll just say non-denominational spiritualist like that. That's easier. But anyway, um, it's like I can like a step stool, which I'm really short. I'm five, four. I need a step stool to reach a bunch of stuff. And even a little step stool, I'm afraid of falling. Just go up one little stair. And it, it's the, if it's not secure, it doesn't feel secure, it's the falling that I have the fear of, not the height. Is that crazy? Anyway. So, maybe not. Uh, but it sure is pretty, and I really, it makes me happy. And they had a lot of pretty, they had a lot of pretty ones. So if you guys are into the fairy garden thing, now's a good time. They, they're putting out the spring stuff and garden stuff. And then I got one of these little boxes. Pawfic, pawfic together. And there's a little dog. A little, and then there's a cat. The dog, cat, oh, cute, oh, cute, and did I open them? Did I do that one? Hold on, I think I might have, oh, here comes Monster. I think I might have another bag here. This one. Oh yeah, okay. I did that one already. Okay, so that's that's it. But before I let you guys go, Monster, do you want to come over here and say hi? You want to come over here and say hi, Monster? Monster, say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Say hi. Hi, everybody. I need my eye cleaned off. I need my eye cleaned off. Say hi, baby. Say hi. Say, monster, come say hi. Okay, so. Oops. Okay, so you can see by now you're seeing, you know, the situation here. Okay, so. You gonna jump down? All right, so while he's here, I thought it would be fun to open up one of these um, fortune cookies with you guys. I think I'm gonna have to put the phone down to do it though. So. There's Sawyer over there. See him laying down over there some stuff I need to test out. Give you a little look at the, that's why I haven't shown the um, Valentine's decor. That's pretty much it that you're seeing and what I have here on the couch. Okay, so let's, let's shake this around because from what I, what I've always been told is it's better for somebody to give you, you, you give them, you give them. The, so I'm shaking it around. Here's monster. He's back here. You can't see him, but he's on, he's on the table. He always loves to, he always has to be on camera. It seems like. So instead of where you can give it to somebody, I'm going to pick it out and it'll be you guys' fortune. So I'm just, a white one. Okay, look, we'll see what it says. These are really neat. Like, they're nice and soft. It's like a velvety. Let's see. I like this one. This is for you guys. You make every day special. You make every day special. 
thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody has a, a great week and um, I will see you next time.